the market failed to make substantial gains despite strong corporate results and positive triggers, only managing to grow by 0.3% 36 points during the weekend of October 28. There were only four trading sessions during the week, after Monday was declared a public holiday and activity remained thin throughout the week, as average volumes declined by 12.6% during the week. After witnessing back-to-back -back declines in the first three sessions, the market recovered on Friday and climbed 2.5% as investors flocked to purchase shares trading at attractive valuations. Several blue-chip companies announced their earnings for the quarter ended September 30th during the week. The all-important oil and gas sector was at the forefront as the oil and gas development company OGDC and Pakistan Petroleum Limited PPL announced strong earnings for the quarter. OGDC announced earnings growth of 31% with earnings per share EPS of RS 5.1, which was 10% above the market consensus and surprised investors. PPL also posted earnings growth of 28% with EPS of RS 7.52. Earnings of major banks were also released. MCB Bank and United Bank Limited posted earnings growth of 24% EPS RS 18.55 and 36% EPS RS 8.95, respectively. While the National Bank of Pakistan posted flat growth with EPS of RS 6.78, there was further good news for the banking sector as the State Bank of Pakistan extended the forced sale value benefit offered to banks for up to five years, which is expected to have a positive impact on the earnings of banks. For the fertilizer sector, the earnings of Fanuji Fertilizer Bin Qasim were announced, which posted massive earnings growth of 145% with EPS of RS 7.68. FFBL's parent company, Fanuji Fertilizer, is expected to announce its earnings in the coming week. There was positive news for the cement sector as well with cement dispatches up by 9% year-on-year for the first quarter of the fiscal year. Local sales of cement were up by 12%, while exports also increased by 2%. The news comes as a relief for the cement sector which suffered during a torrid fiscal year 2011. Nonetheless, the strong results and positive triggers failed to make an impression on the market, which also suffered from the continuous outflow of foreign funds. Net outflow of funds stood at $7.68 million for the week. Average daily volume stood at 75.2 million shares per day, while average daily value only fell by 22.9%. The Xi's market capitalization grew 0.1% to RS 3.02 trillion by the end of the week. What to expect? The coming week will witness the earnings announcements of major fertilizer companies, namely, Engro Corporation and Fauji Fertilizer. As a result, a lot of activity can be expected in this sector. Engro's stock has taken a beating in recent days due to the closure of its old plant for maintenance. Domestic politics can also affect market sentiment, while the direction of foreign flows will also be a key determinant of the market's direction in the coming week.